Good morning, guys. Hope you're having an excellent whatever morning this is. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah. I apparently sound more like an 80-year-old man today than I did last night. I don't know what happened. Sometime after she went to bed last night, uh, I got this weird tickle in my throat, and it did not go away overnight. So I get to be Barry White today. Woo! Which is, that's, it's super weird because the sickness I've had has all been up in this area of sinuses. I haven't had any cough or really any congestion, and yours is all... And that's all that I've got is just a cough and a tickle. Maybe I've got a frog in my throat. Apparently, Rubit. But we've got some fun planned for today. Uh, we we ended up not going to church. Needed a little bit of time to rest this morning, I think. And uh, so we're going to be heading to Louisville. We're going to go to well. We got to go pick up a Christmas present for somebody. And then we've also got to go. I think we're going to go to the Slugger Factory. Louisville yeah, in Louisville, they they. If you're not familiar with it, Louisville is where the Louisville Slugger was born. Baseball bat museum. So. That could be an interesting thing to put on video. So let's do stuff. And I'll be bringing this along with me for the ride. Gigantic bag of cough drops, just in case. All right, welcome to the Oxmoor Mall. That's a good place. No, not entirely a huge amount to see where we're standing, but what were you wanting? Yes. We're gonna have the Yankee Noodle. Okay. Never been here before, but uh, she says it looks interesting. It looks interesting. They have, and they have chicken teriyaki on the kids menu. So. Uh-oh, chicken teriyaki. It's the fry, see? You need to stand here and look at it yeah. that way. You ready for this? Yeah, this is interesting. What do you order, Duncan? What? What'd you get? Chicken teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki. Fried is rice. Fried rice. I got Mongolian beef. I don't know what this is. I think I got the Kung Pao chicken. I don't remember. Oh, there is food. Little pot stickers. This one? Kung Pao chicken. And beef. Duncan, you ready for this? Yeah. I see chicken teriyaki and fried rice. And there's apples in there too. Look, there's apples. Well, it's probably hot. Alright. Not hot? Good. Good? Awesome. I found danger, but it would be chicken. Yep, that's, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> I have stuff in my fried rice. Yep, mistakes were made. That was... Well, we made a valiant effort. What did you think of it? How was the food? Good. Good stuff? Yeah. Didn't eat a lot of it, but he tried. And I think we lost his mommy. We are all completely fooded up. Time to head out of here. Over to the Ball Bats Museum. We're gonna go see where they make all of the ball bats. We'll see the biggest baseball bat ever. Are you ready for that? Yes! The biggest one? Yeah. He's gonna try to swing it. Welcome to downtown Louisville. I think somebody is a little excited about this. Not at all. I am excited. Not excited? I am. No. I am. We'll just go home. No. Yeah, yeah we'll just go no, back home. No, 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 no. I didn't know what you're talking about. That's a bat. <laughs> That's a big old bat. Hall of Fame members. Ooh, kids area. Oh, well, we gotta go. They're getting ready to start the tour. Well, that was entertaining. We weren't allowed to film anything in there and have cameras, but now we can. Was that fun, buddy? And somebody's tired. Welcome back to 2015. That means yes. You can get your cameras and your phones out, take as many pictures as you want, starting now. Check Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you need to do. No sword fighting. We got one up in there. Yeah, there's baseball bats all over the ceiling. All the different finishes. They said there were 10 different finishes. And as you walk around here, you'll see a lot of the different ones that are available. Very cool stuff. It was definitely a really interesting tour. If if you are ever in the local area, I would recommend stopping by. I think you said it was, what, 12 bucks a person? Something like that to get in? I think it was 12. Something like that. I think we paid like 30 to get all three of us in. And there's going to be some sort of a movie going on we may go to. I don't know. Yeah, all kinds of bats. Maybe we'll take Duncan to the batting cage. 
Yeah. And go bat. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We get these with a little nub cut out of the end. They say they take a few ounces out of it, makes it a little bit lighter and easier to swing. So there's a Joey Votto from the Cincinnati Reds, and there's info about him. He's got a contract signed, so if you see his bat, it's got his signature on it. This is the one they actually take off of the, the contract they signed with him, and then they burn it into the bats. Here we have Ted Williams, kind of creepy, real close, super creepy, making out with a the bat. There's Babe Ruth, with a Babe Ruth bat. Right up in his nose, look at that. And here's Ken Griffey Jr. In case you ever want to look up his nose too. There you go. A this baseball. is showing how fast the baseball, what, 95 miles an hour? Here it comes. That's pretty fast. Yeah, it is. I like they've got a little track to roll them back. That's pretty fast, okay. isn't it, Duncan? There's an actual Babe Ruth bat. He hit with it in 1927. That's the place I want to go. You want to go in here? It's the art of Rankin and Bass. Rankin and Bass was my favorite growing up. We got a little room devoted to it. Santa Claus is coming to town. All sorts of artwork from Frosty the Snowman. And then working with the stop motion stuff. If you haven't seen any of the Rankin and Bass stuff, it was just, like I said, it was huge when I was a kid. Loved it. Snow Miser and the Heat Miser. A year without a Santa Claus. Here's all the figurines from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Aww. Oh, the Misfit Toys. We're gonna watch this movie soon, Duncan. Yeah. I already watched this. You've seen it before? Yes. Ah, and Burl Ives, the guy that made it even better. Look at the big old glove. You see the big glove, Duncan? What a big glove. Look at that. You can crawl up in there. I think we're gonna hit the batting cage here in a second. It's ten pitches for a dollar. Nice. He's gonna do it. We have never been to a batting cage. Almost. You can do it, bud. Oh, good, good try. Oh, good one. Oh, good job. Oh, good job, Duncan. Kicking some butt out there. Here goes Daddy, watch him. Woo! Woo! It's coming fast, isn't it? Oh, good hit, Daddy. Good hit, Daddy. Duncan, Daddy played baseball when he was your age. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> your daddy's getting old. Good job. Well, I'm horribly, horribly out of shape, and uh, looking back at some of that footage. <laughs> Shush. Okay. Hey, I hit some of them. There, it was a 50 mile an hour thing, and I still hit a few of them. Duncan hit some of them. He was hitting softballs. Be good out there, buddy. And I think we're gonna head into the theater. They've got a little 13 minute movie we can watch. Well, movie's already going on, so we'll have to come back here in just a minute. I think we're gonna go take a look at some toys. You wanna look at toys? Yeah. You wanna go down there with me while mommy rests? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Toys ever. Oh, we don't have our ticket, Duncan. We got our tickets, we're good to go. Markham Sockham Robots. There's all sorts of board games on the wall. There's Monopoly and Scrabble and Connect Four. Barbie car, little train, GI yeah, Joe stuff, baseball toys, starting lineup figures. I had some of these when I was little. Actually, I think I had this one right here when I was little. That little guy right there. Teddy bear. Oh, Duncan, you had some of these. Grumpy bear. Yep, you liked the Care Bears for a while there. Cabbage Patch Kids. I see Star Wars toys. I see Yoda. Yoda that talks. Life size talking Yoda. A Millennium Falcon and a TIE Fighter. Uh, all sorts of cool toys. Darth Vader. It was $10 for Darth Vader way back in the day. There's a C3PO and R2D2. I see Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca. Oh, and the Christmas story. <laughs> Bobblehead Ralphie. And then, ah, uh, yes. This whole collection is kind of confusing. I'm not sure. <laughs> Homestar Runner. What? Pokemon? Nope, this is Homestar Runner. Mommy would like this. And there's Rubik's Cubes. Can I try you ever to... done a Rubik's Cube? I already have one. 
Hey, Daddy, try to fix them. Well, it was fixed. I was unfixing it. Fixed. Whoa, he solved the cube. Sort of. Teddy Ruxpin. Tickle Me Elmo. All sorts of hot toys from the past. The Furbies. Yep. Yeah. On Black Friday 1996, a lot of stores stole out their entire stock within two hours. So people love Tickle Me Elmo back in the day. Yeah. Back before you were born. Well, the little side shows are not hugely impressive. Oh well. Time for the movie. Wow, this is really steep. Like really, really steep. Well, that was definitely a movie. I fell asleep, as you might expect. Did you like that? Yeah. Yeah. It was about 10 minutes of the bat is very important. Yep. At the Louisville Slugger Museum, you would expect that. Look at this. The tallest man, Robert Wadlow, was 8 foot 11 inches. I stand up next to him. His shoe size was 39. How big is your shoe? Yeah. Your shoe almost fits into the heel of his shoe. When he That's was 6 was. years old, he was 6 foot tall. He was super big. But how tall is he right now? He's dead. But this is how tall he really was. I come to his crotch. And now to the place where all of the money is spent. Hopefully not too much today. There's exactly what we need. Baby's need first a bat. bat. No. Little bat for the baby. No. Come out swinging. Duncan be his first target. No. <laughs> all right, grab your souvenir bat, Duncan. Is this your souvenir? No. This Pick it up. See if you can grab it. That's one hand. You gotta use two hands. Give me the bat. Use two hands. Grab it. Pick it up. Oh, it's super heavy. Nope. You tried. Well, that wraps up our little time at the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. Was it super duper awesome and fun? It was neat. It was. It was neat. Yeah. I'll admit, I was moderately underwhelmed. The, the factory tour was okay. Uh, I'd, I'd say it was worth the money because, you know, you come out of it with a little bat and you get to see how it was all made. But uh, the rest of it... Okay. All the little side exhibits were not great. Getting the to go to the batting cages, cages were fun. For a dollar, I mean, that's that's not bad at all. Yeah, the batting cages good. Yeah. The movie was fun. Yeah. It was included. I fell asleep. It's what I do. But yeah, so we're done. Time to maybe go shop a little more and then head home. It depends on if I have any more contractions, because I had oh, one yeah. in, the, in the movie. Yeah, while we were sitting in the movie, she apparently had some sort of a contraction, so you can tell we're getting close to time. Yeah, that was very uncomfortable, too. Yeah. You need to calm down. Yeah. You too. Don't swing that, don't hit mommy. And we've made it home, and it is still kind of rainy and blech. Packages, 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 packages. Packages. Well, they were super duper lightweight, meaning like, I can just very easily touch them and move them. And then the top one, we've got charging system for Xbox One controllers, as well as 32 gigabytes of DDR2400 megahertz RAM. Although that says DDR3. Did I seriously order the wrong thing? I'm gonna have to triple check this. Crap. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I bought DDR3 RAM for my new desktop. And it needs DDR4. And because of my stupid, stupid mistake, I'm gonna have to reorder RAM. It's gonna be more expensive. And I have to pay return shipping. So, big fail all around. Well, downer news aside, the other box, the big box, is a backpack. Let's see how this turned out. All right, starting my way through it here. There we go. Sun Yi. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna guess it's Sun Yi. This is the backpack I should be able to use for the quadcopter once it comes in. There you go. Custom cutouts for the Phantom 3, for some batteries, for some additional pieces and parts, for the controller. Hopefully everything will fit appropriately in there. Then you have a foam cutout to fit over top of it. Just like that. And you zip it up. Definitely not bad quality. You've got a little zipper pocket here in the front. A little zipper pocket here on the side. And another little stretchy pocket here on this side. Not really bad. For 25 bucks, not bad at all. Food time, food time, food time. What is this? The scampi of the shrimp. Let's see what this tastes like. I'll give it a shot. 
Well, it is much, much later in the evening at this point, about 9 o'clock to be precise. Uh, traditional sort of usual evening stuff has transpired. Duncan and I worked on homework together. Christina helped Duncan with a little bit of the homework. Lots and lots of laundry was done. Duncan is currently getting cleaned up for bed. And I actually, I did take a couple of minutes and I unboxed the Xbox One charger. Well, the Xbox One controller charger. It's this little energizer charging system for the Xbox One. So I was able to take my controller, replace the back on it, replace the battery in it because I had two double A's and I just sort of stick it in there like that, and it charges. Super duper convenient. I've got something similar coming for the PlayStation 4. I've got one more controller coming for the Xbox One, and one spare controller coming for the PS4. So whenever the PS4 does arrive, I will actually have two controllers for it. I'll have two for the Xbox One, as well as a charging system for both of them, so I can just very easily stick the controllers in there when they're not being used. As sort of bummed as I am about the, the RAM not being correct on the, the new desktop, I'm dealing with it at this point. When, when it shows up, and I think it's going to show up tomorrow, actually this gives me the opportunity to take it out of the box, get everything set up, and try it out using 12 gigs of RAM that it comes with. Because it's, it's two sticks, they're unmatched, so it's an 8 gig and a 4 gig stick. So it'll give me a chance to try it out and see how it works that way and then upgrade the RAM and try it out again and see what kind of a difference it makes. If it makes a speed difference, if it makes a, a amount of things that can be loaded at a time difference, or if having more RAM doesn't really make that big of a difference. Because currently I've got 16 gigs of RAM on my desktop and I find on the regular that I'm using about 8 gigs but a large portion of that is Chrome, the Chrome browser. I can't even tell how much it's using at the moment it, because of the way they split it all out, but my, my actual video editor only uses about two gigs of RAM at a time. I say only, that's a lot, but when you think about video editing and you think about the, let's say in a given project, I probably have four to six gigabytes of files, maybe more, and that's just with this kind of video, I would probably have around four gigs of video at least. And still, the, the editor is only using one to two gigs of RAM consistently. Like, I've, I've watched it through the entire editing process, the rendering process, it never really jumps above two gigs. I think I've even allotted it as much as like four to six gigs inside of the software and said use this if you need it. Maybe even as much as eight at one point. And it just doesn't use it. It doesn't seem to need it. Maybe if I went back to doing 4K footage, I don't know. Actually, with this new desktop coming, I may go back to trying out 4K footage using both my camcorder as well as the Osmo. I'm just going to stop saying DJI Osmo because that's really difficult. And actually, once the new quadcopter gets here, it's going to be able to do 2.7K, which obviously not 4K, but still it's higher quality, so it, it might be something worth trying out as well. We're just going to have to sort of see what happens, I suppose. Well, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. I'm starting to sound worse and worse. I don't really feel all that bad. I just, for whatever reason, last night at about this time, I, I got a tickle in my throat. Overnight that turned into a lot of weird coughing, drainage issues. My sinuses and everything feel fine. I've been great all throughout the day. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. We have a lot of interesting stuff planned for tomorrow. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to film a whole lot of it simply because I'm not going to be there for it. Maybe I can talk Christina into taking a camera with her. We'll talk about all that stuff tomorrow. But needless to say, my dad and I are going to be spending some time together tomorrow. My parents are actually coming into town, bringing my niece into town. So my dad and I are going to be out shopping. We're going to be doing some Cyber Monday things. I may, may run out to HH Greg. Before I went on vacation back in July, I actually picked up a 42 inch 4K TV, made a video about it over on my channel, ended up returning it simply because there was so much lag. When you hooked it up to a computer or a game system or something, so much lag. Looking at HH Greg's site, it looks like that has actually been re-released. There's a 2015 model for the exact same price that I bought the original one for that has no lag. It has, well, it has the, the traditional amount of lag you would expect and it's supposed to be awesome. And it's 300 bucks. So while we're out, I may run by HH Greg just to see if they've got it. If they do, awesome. If they don't, I'm, I'm going to, again, continue to look over my finances, make sure that I can afford an additional $300. I ought to be able to. But I think that would just, it would make a really nice addition to this room. I can definitely hang it on the wall or something. If nothing else, I can figure out a way to clear that table off and stick it over there. That's where it was the week or two that it was here. And I, I absolutely love that Seiki TV, other than the fact that I had such delay. Just watching movies on it, it was great. As soon as I started to try to play games on it, or tried to use it as a monitor, it was horrible. I could definitely stand to have two or three of those as desktop monitors though. Oh, that'd be nice. Anyway, as you can hear, my voice is just not getting any better. I've got to rest it. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the day. Thank you for spending it with me. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.